Okay, so nothing major to worry about. Uh, he just said we're going to monitor you. So I appreciate you guys praying for me and doing what you do. And the nurse probably shouldn't have said anything in the first place except to go see the doctor with the results. Because he kind of scared me when he said, oh, that's a bad sign. So always go see your doctor when you're going to be talking about lab results. So what we're going to do is we're going to take another lab today and we're going to compare it to the one that I had two weeks ago. And we're just going to monitor that. What's that called, honey? Billy Rubin. So um, that's the only thing that kind of triggered the lab testing. So, hey, I'm good to go. And uh, I'm going to go give some more blood. <laughs> All right, you guys. Have a great day. Bye. All right, I need you to put this spray on me. Oh. Hey everybody! Normally, I would not be out here in the heat of the day at one o'clock doing gardening, but today we are. All right, guys, my help has arrived, and I will let you tell them who you are and what your ministry is all about. Ooh, okay, so my name is Sister Zollinger. I am um, a missionary for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and we just do service for 18 months. So I'm from Idaho, and we've come to Missouri, so we're here for a year and a half. Really? Wow. Yeah. So what do you do when you're not doing this? We teach about Christ. Go yeah. around talking about Christ. And this is my other little helper today, and I'm going to let her introduce yourself and just tell about your work and why you're here. Yeah, um, I'm Sister Young. Um, I'm from Seattle, Washington, and also from Fort Worth. Um, yeah, and I'm just here for 18 months um, in kind of the like Kansas City area and just serving God and serving my brothers and sisters. Well, amen. Whatever way it happens to be. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you do when you're not helping each other? Uh, I mean, right now I'm full time, but I will go to, back to college after I finish. And um, I like reading. I play the piano. Oh, wonderful! Kind of things, yeah. So I got some awesome help today, you guys. Okay, so right here we are gonna throw down some flower seeds, and also eventually I'm gonna get my jewel board planted out here to grow up that trellis. Check out that harvest. Woohoo! The girls have worked really hard. It's going to be put to good use. So it's the next day after the girls were here and it rained and rained and rained all morning. So everything is nice and watered, and I had a few blooms happen. Black boy button. I've been waiting and waiting for it. Isn't that a pretty color? It's a lot smaller than I thought it would be, but 
It's very pretty. Got a few more buds. Had some people leave some cucumber seeds out on the trade table. And of course they got all wet. So I'm gonna plant them in some of these black fabric tubs. So since I already have the dirt in some of these, I'm gonna go ahead and put some seeds in them. Just wait and see what happens. And do you remember that kale that got eight all the way down? I told you it would leaf back out. How about that? Hey everybody! So I am on the hunt for petunia seeds. So I hope that I'll be able to get lots of seed but I'm gonna be checking it throughout the whole summer to make sure that I at least get a few because this color is just brilliant. And I'm also gonna give you an opinion on what I think about the homemade bug spray that I made. So this will be my second day wearing it and we'll see if it keeps the mosquito away. The first day it did, but it was also really, really hot outside when I had it on. And so I didn't think that was a fair shot. I will come out this evening and just sit on the porch like I normally do and see if I get eight up. But for now, let's hunt some petunia seeds. By the way, my name is Kelly and I am the K part of J and K Potter. So I wanted to show you what a petunia seed looks like. So if you get in here to where the flowers were, let's see. see that little nub in there? That is the seed. That inside there is a seed, but it's green. You need to wait until it turns brown. Okay, here's a withered up stem, and you will be able to find the seeds in there. Let me get that out of the way. Yep, yeah, there it is. You see it? But you have to see it. You just take this, take, you know, the stuff off of it and pull the seed out. There's a little seed, and when you open it up, I'll show you this close up. You have these little bitty round seeds. That come out of that pod you have those little bitty seeds that come out of that pod so look at all those plants that you could potentially have just with one seed that makes me really really excited you guys all right i'm gonna be doing that for a little bit so i'll talk to you a little bit later there's an excellent example of a seed That's the seed pod. That's what you want. That's all that I have for you today, guys. You go out and enjoy life. Well, I almost forgot again to let you know what I thought about the bug spray. I think that it works pretty well. I say think because I was out a while ago and I got bit by a mosquito on my hand. But I have washed my hands since I put it on. And I sat out there for a little while and I didn't get any bites on my arms or my legs. So I'm gonna say that it works. <laughs> it's crazy when I watch myself talk it drives me nuts the way that my uh, pronunciation is of some things and the way my mouth now appears since that tooth is gone oh my goodness I'm gonna have to get used to um, seeing my mouth move different that's really weird I just thought I'd jump back on and tell you that you guys have a good night we'll see you next time Bye.